morning there YouTube um, so today I am going to it's 7 a.m. and I'm headed out right now to go to Charleston South Carolina to help a buddy of mine do a shoot and last night this came last night the Radian RX 580 I ordered a uh, Radian RX 580 because I was sick and tired of my GTX 760 uh, with DaVinci Resolve doing the crashing thing where it wouldn't, kept coming up with an error. I wanted to try the program again. I wanted to give it another shot because I really liked how it worked. And uh, and I just wanted to be able to, you know, upgrade. And I was, I was tired of waiting for the Vega 64 and Vega 56 to actually go on sale where I could get one. Because every time I looked, they were always sold out, and there was only like two or three, and then they'd all be sold out, and then, or different models, there was no aftermarket one, like there would be a one power color or something like that. Put Tomb Raider and DirectX 12, and it looked fantastic, and it was really silky smooth, and everything was great. But maybe that's it. I, I gotta fiddle around with the settings a little bit, and maybe overclock the card a little bit, because it couldn't overclock. Anyway, I'm heading out to Charleston, help a buddy shoot. And I gotta get going because it's like seven o'clock and I'm supposed to leave at like seven o'clock or just a few minutes after, so I gotta get going. So I'll uh, keep you updated on this vlog. This is a vlog I'm doing again. And uh, we'll see ya uh, in Charleston. Or on seven maybe ten after seven it's 9 30 I'm uh, just now hitting Savannah Savannah Georgia Let's take a look and see if I see the sign some data jacks and stuff uh, getting some editing done I've been editing a uh, teaser trailer and doing a uh, tutorial on how to edit the teaser in, in Edius um, you know how to edit how I edit with multi-camera in Edius and put all my parts together to make a teaser all in 4k so that's kind of cool. Anyway, maybe I'll 
put a link to that over here. It's already yawn. I'm tired. I gotta stop off and get another cup of coffee. I stopped off at the um, Flash Foods this morning and, and grabbed a cup of coffee. And it was like the weakest... I tried, I was like, this, maybe it's just because it's early, I don't know, it's like 7 o'clock. It was like the weakest coffee I've ever had, so I literally drove across the bridge. After I left with the coffee, I was took a, some drinks of it, and I was like, this is just, it's hot water with creamer in it. So I drove over to the McDonald's and got a mocha, and it was better, but it wasn't, I, I need more, I need another coffee. So I'm gonna stop and get another coffee. What do you think of that? So I'm here in Charleston now and we're shooting at that church right behind me. Um, and the, we came out here to shoot and the, uh, the the wedding lady said that we can't be in the, and we have to stay in the back of the church. It always sucks when they do that, but I can kind of see their point for religious reasons. We can't be in the front, we have to be in the back of the church, whatever. But that was nice. Anyway, down here shooting. Uh, got a little while before it starts. There's the church right there. Big fancy church. Nice. Anyway, having a good time. Uh, helping folks out. I like doing, I like shooting weddings. I like shooting video and photography, but video too. Anyway, I'll holler at you later. We finished the shoot the wedding ceremony and everything's done um the wedding lady actually this is the crazy thing hold on let me turn my sound off i'm in the car i'm driving down back from uh charleston i'm now uh, almost to georgia i'm right in south carolina georgia line right here on 95 i-95 go past savannah and then uh past Brunswick and then I'm in Florida again but anyway um so the the wedding lady the church lady they were so strict the rules were so strict we couldn't have any audio no microphones up front at all and uh the guy I was working with he put a he put a microphone on the groom which we always do put a little recorder in his pocket they took it off they took the recorder off the ground. Come on, what is it hurting? The funny thing is they were like, well, he was like, well, maybe it's for religious reasons, you know, religious ceremony. But as I walked to the back, they had a little camcorder set up on top of the, a little shelf right there by the front, pointed right down where the thing, they record it. The, the, the priest had a mic on. He was talking with a mic. Why, why would it be, what would be wrong with them having a recording of their vows during the it's they're the ones getting married i don't understand for i don't know what the religious reason would be not to be able to hear a recording of your vows during your uh, there, that makes no sense there's no religious reason there's nothing so sacred that you would not want to be able to hear your vows on your video of your wedding that it just doesn't make sense. It makes no sense at all. And you'd be able to hear everything better. You'd be able to hear the minister, or, you know, the priest, or you'd be able to hear all the toasts, everything, not toast, but the, the speeches, you'd be able to hear everything better. So I don't know if you're, if you're, if you work for a church or you go to a church or, you know, you know people at a church, can you please explain to me why the couple would not be allowed to have a microphone on them to hear each other's vows. Why, what does that, what does, how is God frowning on that? I'm just curious as to how that, you've invited people there. If it was that religious, why are all these people there? If it was so, you know, sacred, then why even have people show up? Why not have them just go into a separate... They make a big deal out of it. So I don't understand what the problem is with having a microphone on them during the thing. It's not distracting in any way, shape, or form. It's a little bitty recorder. It goes in the groom's pocket, hits record, plugs a little microphone on, picks it up so that you can hear the bride. She gave her, her vows. You can't hear a word. You could even hear it where I was in the during the ceremony i could not hear a word she said so 
if if you're there and you have these people, so the people in the front row, it's okay for them to hear what they said, but nobody else. That makes no sense. It just, I'm sorry, it just doesn't make any sense to me. There's no religious reason for that. There's no reason. I don't, I don't get it. Whatever. Anyway, I'm headed back. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog, me uh, rambling on. I'm sitting in the car here at the gas station. I had to stop and go potty. I, I was, I was considering buying a GH5, but then I heard that the GH5S was coming out. So the GH5S, before it was announced, um, like a month or two ago, they were talking about, I was waiting because I waited uh, several months for the GH5 to where it became available and the price came down. Because usually the price goes real high and then if they're not available. You can't get them. You have to pre-order them. And then you wait. And I wanted to see if it was better. I wanted to try it myself. So I rented one a few months ago and I really loved the camera. I thought it was a, a it was an awesome camera. It's an awesome camera. Uh, the autofocus isn't very good on it. But I don't use autofocus anyway. I manually focus everything. And so it doesn't really matter to me. The only time I use autofocus is stuff like this on this G85. And this is fine for autofoc for autofocus because I'm it's just a headshot of me talking. It's just a vlog camera. But um So I was gonna get the GH5, so I rented it. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to buy that. I even bought batteries for it. I bought batteries. I was like, I'll just buy batteries. I know I'm going to get the camera. Uh, I'll have the batteries for when, after I rent it. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll keep, I'll buy one of the cameras. But then they announced the GH5S, or they didn't announce, le leaks started coming out shortly after I rented it when I decided to buy it. And I was like, okay, I'll wait for the 5S because it's going to have better low light. Um, and it does. The 5S was just announced like two days ago. And it does have better low light, but the problem is they took off the in-body stabilization to get the low light. Now, don't get me wrong. Low light's fantastic, but that in-body stabilization on the GH5 is incredible. It's better than Sony's. It's better than Canon's. It's better than anybody's in-body stabilization. Uh, combined with the lens, that thing is... If you have the... Uh, IS2 lens, the in-body stabilization 2 lens that goes with it, where they work together and it sees that it has two forms of stabilization, you can handhold it and it looks like you're on a tripod. I mean, it literally is completely steady. You can walk with it and it's steady. You can move, you can do moves with it. To you. I, I was handholding shots that I would never imagine handholding in any other way. I'd always at least have a monopod. This thing was just, it's just perfect. It's much better than this G85. The G85 is not bad. It has in-body stabilization and lens stabilization, and they work together, and it does a pretty decent job. But this GH5 does even better than this. It is really, really good. So for the 5S not to have it, I'll throw lights up. I put lights anyway, because I use this camera. I use Nikons. I use other cameras. So I always, if it's super dark at a reception, I'm going to put lights up anyway. So I don't really need the, the super low light. Low light's great. I can get a faster lens. For the price, extra 500 bucks. I think it's $2,500 for the... It's an extra $500 for the 5S. Use that 500 bucks to get you a f1.2 lens. And now your problem solved. And a light, you know. Pick a, I've already got lights, so I don't need any lights. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the GH5S. It's a great camera if you already had like two GH5s and you were going to get another one. Get the GH5S so that you could have even better low light. It, just put it on sticks, you know, put it on a monopod, whatever it is. Find a way to support it because you're not going to handhold it and get that steady shot with the image stabilization. Anyway, so that's enough. I'm, I got to get going. I got to get back home. I'm not going to get home till around 11 o'clock at night, but hey, it is what it is, right? I upgraded my video card and I got lucky because, and I call it luck, because I had a, my previous card was this GTX 760. You guys know, if you follow the channel, that I've been, let's focus on that. Focus on the GTX, it's trying to focus on me. Typical Panasonic. 
You guys know, if you follow me, you follow my channel, you know that I've had, like, I couldn't get DaVinci Resolve to work. This thing's a two gig card. I've had this card for, I think I bought it in 2013 maybe, or 2014 or 15. I forget what year I bought it. I bought it a few years ago. It's a few years old. Um, so it's been a good card. It still works just fine. Um, it works just fine, but, and it's clean. You can see, I actually had the plastic on it still. I just peeled the plastic off right here. I'm gonna put it in my in my granddaughter's computer because, um, you know, honestly, I thought about giving it away, but it's a GTX 760. Come on, most of you guys are gamers or, or, um, or at the very least, uh, video editors that have probably if you've bought a car in the past, you can pick up a, GT, a GTX 1050 that would probably beat this thing and you can get it for less money. So uh, GTX 550 or something like that, but it's in her computer. And so it was time for me to upgrade mine. And what I got was Radian RX Vega, uh, not RX Vega, I wish it was an RX Vega. It's an RX 580. Uh, 8 gig model. It's the Power Color Radian RX. It was the cheapest one I could find. It was 300 bucks. Um, I got super lucky, and here's here's how I got lucky. I got so lucky because I had this in the cart last week at Newegg, and I came home, went to buy it. I put it in the cart on my phone, and I thought, oh, I gotta I gotta buy that when I get. I'm almost home, so I'm just gonna buy it when I get home. It was in my cart for like maybe 20 minutes. I get home. And it's out of my cart. It says that it's no longer available. That's how fast this thing was sold out. They sold out real fast. So I put an auto notify on my on my new egg account for when it showed up. So boom, it showed up the other day, like a couple days ago, 300 bucks. I went ahead and clicked, bought it right then on my phone as soon as it became available. So. It shipped last week. I got it in, I think Friday. I got it in on Friday. Today is Monday, so I got it on Friday. So needless to say, what happened was the, the, the car, I bought it, and then I went, after I bought it this weekend, I clicked to see when it was gonna be coming, and I, actually, I clicked the actual link to the card on Newegg, and it showed me that it had gone up in price to $340, and it was no longer available. So it, it, it immediately jumped up an additional 40 bucks, right? Well then on yesterday, I was making a video about, about the video for video editing and Edius, and I clicked again and went to the site and it was up to $700 for that card. So it jumped, this crypto mining thing's gotten way out of control. So it jumped from 300 bucks, what I paid for the card, to 350, 349, plus shipping to 700 over $700 for the card. So needless to say, it's going to be a few months before I decide to upgrade. I will upgrade. I want to get a, a Vega. I want to get something a little bit better, but let me tell you my experience so far with the card. Now it doesn't have RGB lights and that's in the title. It's lacking RGB. There's no RGB on it. There's no LEDs at all on it. It's just a plain black card. It's in the computer right now. I don't feel like pulling it back out to show you, but you can go online and see it. It's a, it's a plain, but I'll pop a picture up of it, but it's a plain black card, but it, it works really well. I, the, I did have a little bit of an issue and I still have a little bit of an issue like with the monitors. Like I have a TV connected to the HDMI and then I've got my 1440p monitor on one screen. Normally I can like turn off the other screen and then I just extend the desktop to that screen and it pops it over So when I get to watch a movie or something I just turn off my main screen and it's on the other screen, but I can't do that I have to duplicate the screens for some reason the other thing it was doing was it wouldn't allow me to um, like when I put on FreeSync on Battlefield 1 It flickers like crazy like I turned off everything I'm getting and, but the good thing is, is I've got, I changed my Battlefield 1 settings to ultra, ultimate ultra quality at 1440p and I'm, I'm getting way over 80 frames per second. I'm getting like 90, 100 frames per second on average in the game. 
I'm, I haven't checked the frames, but I can tell it's super smooth and it looks ridiculous. It's running fantastic on Battlefield 1. Um, but I can use like on the Division, I played it last night, set it on Ultra and had FreeSync on and it played buttery smooth and looked fantastic. It looks so much better. Everything looks better. I did a test on Tomb Raider, on Rise of the Tomb Raider, before I took out the GTX 760 and on low settings, on low settings, the benchmark, I got 25 frames per second on that card. On ultra settings, on the GT, on the RX 580, I got 70 frames per second on average. I was getting like 60 to 70, somewhere in there. Like I tested it once and I got 60, 68. I tested it again, I got like 70. Uh, the card's slightly overclocked, I think. Because I went through and I was trying to figure out how to do the... I don't even know what it's overclocked to. But I was trying to figure out why Battlefield was flickering first before I did the benchmark. And then I did the benchmark and I had set some adjustments on the on the temperatures. Anyway, so that's what I'm letting you know. I, I upgraded, but I didn't really upgrade, upgrade. And I, I'm still... I, I'm made a little bit of money on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the on the Amazon. When it comes in, I'm going to put it on an Amazon card and have a... Ra uh, have a uh, contest. So look forward, look for that contest. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, look for the contest because you could win uh, like a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Why not, right? It's free money. It's free.